The story of the Opel Diplomat begins in the early 1960s, a time when Opel, a German automobile manufacturer and a subsidiary of General Motors, sought to create a flagship model that would compete in the luxury car segment. Opel aimed to establish itself as a producer of high-end vehicles that combined advanced technology, superior comfort, and strong performance. The result was the Opel Diplomat, introduced as part of Opel's prestigious KAD series, which also included the Capitan and Admiral models. The Opel Diplomat was launched in 1964 as the top-tier model of the KAD series. It featured a distinctive, elegant design characterized by clean lines, a stately presence, and a spacious, luxurious interior. The Diplomat was available as a sedan and a rare long wheelbase version, designed to provide even more space and comfort for its occupants. It was aimed at business executives, government officials, and affluent individuals who desired a vehicle that exuded sophistication and offered exceptional performance. Under the hood, the Diplomat initially came with a range of powerful engines, including a 2.6-litre inline-six and a more robust 4.6-litre V8, which was later upgraded to a 5.4-litre V8. The V8 engines were sourced from Chevrolet, another General Motors brand, ensuring that the Diplomat had the power and performance credentials to match its luxury aspirations. The V8 models, in particular, were known for their smooth, effortless power delivery and high-speed cruising capability, making them ideal for long-distance travel. One of the key features of the Diplomat was its advanced suspension system, which provided a smooth and comfortable ride, even on rough roads. The car's chassis was designed to handle the power of the V8 engines while maintaining excellent ride quality and stability. Inside, the Diplomat boasted a well-appointed interior with high-quality materials, including leather upholstery, wood trim, and a range of luxury amenities such as air conditioning, power windows, and a high-end audio system. The Opel Diplomat quickly established itself as a symbol of prestige and success. It was often used by government officials and business leaders, reinforcing its image as a car for the elite. The Diplomat also found success in the export markets, particularly in Europe, where it was appreciated for its blend of German engineering and American power. In 1969, the second generation of the Opel Diplomat was introduced. This version featured updated styling with a more modern, angular design. The new Diplomat continued to offer powerful V8 engines and luxurious features, maintaining its position as Opel's flagship model. However, by the early 1970s, changing market conditions and economic challenges, including the oil crisis, began to impact the sales of large, fuel-hungry luxury cars like the Diplomat. Despite its qualities, the Diplomat faced stiff competition from other luxury brands, and its high running costs made it less attractive during times of economic uncertainty. In 1977, Opel decided to discontinue the Diplomat, along with the rest of the KAD series, as the company shifted its focus towards more compact and fuel-efficient models to meet the changing demands of the market. Although production ceased, the Opel Diplomat left a lasting legacy. It is remembered as one of the finest examples of Opel's engineering prowess and its ability to produce a world-class luxury vehicle. Today, the Diplomat is a cherished classic among car enthusiasts and collectors who appreciate its combination of style, performance, and historical significance. The story of the Opel Diplomat is one of ambition and excellence. It represents a time when Opel aimed to challenge the established luxury brands and succeeded in creating a vehicle that was both technically advanced and elegantly refined. The Diplomat's place in automotive history is secure as a symbol of luxury, power, and the golden era of motoring.